result of productivity and help you unleash your full potential. Get ready to take your productivity to the next level with Productivity Smarts. As a productivity expert and host of the Productivity Smarts podcast, Gerald J. Leonard has been a proud supporter of Kiva since 2011. Kiva is a non-profit organization that helps entrepreneurs in third world countries access the capital they need to start or grow their businesses. By making a small loan through Kiva, you can help these entrepreneurs achieve their dreams, support their families, and contribute to their local economies. And with a repayment rate of over 96%, your loan can be relent to another entrepreneur once it's repaid, creating a ripple effect of positive change. So if you're looking for a meaningful way to make a difference in the world, consider making a loan through Kiva. With loans as small as $25, anyone can be a micro lender and help change lives. Visit kiva.org to learn more and start lending today. Welcome to the podcast. Today we're going to explore the art of coping with failure and turning setbacks into opportunities. If you want to optimize your time and achieve your personal goals or improve your overall performance at work, this podcast is for you. Setbacks are inevitable, but how we respond to them can determine our future success. By adopting a growth mindset and learning from our failures, we can turn setbacks into opportunities for growth and development. We may be starting with the belief that failure must be avoided at all costs, and we want to end up with a mindset that sees failure as a necessary part of the learning process. Throughout this podcast, we'll explore practical tips, strategies, and insights from experts that will help you turn setbacks into opportunities. Now, before we dive deeper into this topic, we have a free Productivity Smarts weekly evaluation worksheet for you to download. This worksheet will help you evaluate your week, identify what went well and what didn't, and plan for the upcoming week. You can download the worksheet from the show notes. Did you know that 92% of people fail to achieve their goals? 92%. And 64% of project managers report that their projects fail to meet their original goals and business intent. These statistics highlight the importance of learning to cope with failure and turning setbacks into opportunities. I'm sure your goals are to achieve success in your career. Optimize your time and workload, and focus on measurable results. Try new strategies and new opportunities and approaches. Learn new skills to enhance your performance, and take a strategic approach to your work, as well as improving your productivity within your teams and your organization. This podcast will explore practical tips, strategies, and insights to help you cope with failure and turn setbacks into opportunities. We'll discuss the importance of adopting a growth mindset and learning from our failures and staying focused on our goals. We'll share stories of objective experts who have written books on this topic, research studies from scholars and peer-reviewed studies, and practical approaches and solutions to help you develop a growth mindset. Have you ever experienced failure? How did you cope with it? Think of setbacks as a detour on your journey towards success. Just as you might take a detour or a different route to a destination, setbacks may require a different approach to achieving your goal. Research from Neuroscience News shows that failure can stimulate the brain's learning center and improve cognitive function. By embracing failure as an opportunity for growth, we can improve our brain's ability to learn and adopt. One of the biggest challenges of coping with failure is the fear of being judged or criticized. It's natural to want to avoid failure, but by doing so, we may miss out on valuable growth opportunities. The myth that failure is something to be ashamed of is pervasive in our culture. In reality, failure is a necessary part of the learning process and should be embraced as an opportunity for growth. Imagine that failure is not the end of the road, but a stepping stone towards success. 
By embracing failure as an opportunity to learn and grow, you can achieve greater success than you ever thought possible. Research shows that people who embrace failure and learn from their mistakes are more likely to succeed than those who avoid failure at all costs. By adopting a growth mindset and staying focused on your goals, you can turn setbacks into opportunities for growth and development. In today's fast-paced world, coping with failure and turning setbacks into opportunities is more important than ever. With increased pressure to achieve measurable results and optimize your time, we must learn from our failures and focus on our goals. One of the biggest inhibitors to coping with failure is our negative self-talk. When we tell ourselves that failure is unacceptable and that we're not good enough, we set ourselves up for a cycle of negativity that can be difficult to break. On the other hand, enablers for coping with failure include a supportive network of colleagues and mentors who can offer guidance and advice and a growth mindset that views failure as an opportunity for learning and growth. Now, before we dive deeper into this topic of coping with failure, I want to take a moment and tell you about a fantastic book, A Symphony of Choices. Introducing A Symphony of Choices, the must-read book for any manager looking to improve their decision-making, project management, and workplace engagement skills. Author Gerald J. Leonard takes readers on a journey through a high-pressure season for a symphony orchestra, where a mentorship program was implemented to turn things around. Through real-life examples and relatable anecdotes, you'll learn how mentorship can transform a team, boost productivity, and achieve outstanding results. This book is not just for music industry professionals, but for anyone in a leadership position who wants to improve their management skills. With practical tips and actionable advice, you'll discover how to make sound decisions in high-pressure situations, motivate your team to achieve their best work, manage complex projects with ease, foster a culture of collaboration and teamwork, and much more. A Symphony of Choices is a timely resource full of practical tools and real examples that will help you build the knowledge and skills to thrive in a project-driven world. Antonio Nieto Rodriguez A Symphony of Choices is a book that will inspire and empower you to become a better leader. Whether you're a seasoned executive or just starting out in your career, this book is an invaluable resource for anyone looking to improve their management skills and achieve success in the workplace. Order your copy today and join the thousands of managers who have already benefited from the mentorship lessons presented in A Symphony of Choices. Welcome back. One real expert who has written extensively on this topic is Dr. Carol Dweck, author of Mindset, The New Psychology of Success. In her book, Dweck explores the power of the growth mindset and how it can help us succeed in our personal and professional lives. Dr. Carol Dweck's book, Mindset, The New Psychology of Success, explores the power of a growth mindset in achieving success. In the book, Dweck argues that our mindset, how we think about ourselves and our abilities, plays a critical role in determining our success. According to Dweck, there are two types of mindsets, a fixed mindset and a growth mindset. People with a fixed mindset believe their abilities are innate and cannot be changed, while those with a growth mindset believe their abilities can be developed through hard work and dedication. Dweck argues that people with a growth mindset are more likely to succeed because they are willing to take on challenges, learn from their failures, and persist in facing obstacles. They view setbacks as opportunities for growth and are not deterred by the fear of failure or criticism. In contrast, people with a fixed mindset are more likely to avoid challenges, give up in the face of obstacles, and view setbacks as evidence of inadequacies. They are more possible to suffer from low self-esteem and lack of resilience to success. Dweck's book offers practical strategies for developing a growth mindset, such as embracing challenges and viewing them as opportunities for growth, learning from your failures and seeing them as a stepping stone towards success, 
persistence in the face of obstacles and setbacks. Adopt a not yet attitude. Focus on the progress that you've made rather than the mistakes you have made. And surround yourself with supportive people who will believe in your ability to grow and develop. Overall, Mindset, The New Psychology of Success is a powerful book that offers insight into the power of a growth mindset and how it can help us succeed in our personal and professional lives. Research from the National Institute of Health shows that a growth mindset can improve academic performance, boost motivation, and enhance problem-solving skills. By embracing failure as an opportunity for growth, we can unlock our full potential and achieve tremendous success than we ever thought possible. One solution to coping with failure is to reframe our thinking and view setbacks as an opportunity for growth. By asking ourselves what we can learn from a loss and how we can use the knowledge to improve our future performance, we can turn setbacks into opportunities for growth. How can you reframe your thinking and view failure as an opportunity for growth? Throughout this podcast, we'll explore practical tips, strategies, and insights to help you cope with failure and turn setbacks and opportunities. By adopting a growth mindset, learning from our failures, and staying focused on our goals, we can achieve success that we've never thought possible. Now, discover how to set goals, build a high-performing team, and increase your productivity. You can download this tool from the show notes. Did you know that ancient philosophers such as Aristotle and Synecdoche recognized the power of the growth mindset and the importance of learning from failure? By embracing failure as a growth opportunity, we can tap into the wisdom of the ages and achieve success in our personal and professional lives. In a study published by the Journal of Applied Psychology, researchers found that people who viewed setbacks as opportunities for growth were more likely to achieve their goals than those who avoided failure at all costs. By embracing failure as a necessary part of the learning process, you can unlock your full potential and achieve greater success than you ever thought possible. You see, the benefits of coping with failure and turning your setbacks into opportunities for growth are numerous. Adopting a growth mindset can improve your problem-solving skills, boost your motivation, and help you succeed personally and professionally. Now, if you want to take your productivity to the next level and achieve even greater success, check out our sponsor, Growth Strategies. Are you looking for a way to take your business or career to the next level? Look no further than the Growth Strategies Coaching and Mastermind program from the Productivity Intelligence Institute. This innovative program is designed for entrepreneurs, business owners, and professionals who want to accelerate their growth and achieve their goals faster than they ever thought possible. Led by productivity expert and mastermind coach Gerald J. Leonard, this program offers a unique blend of coaching, mentorship, and peer support. Through weekly coaching calls, personalized feedback, and accountability from a supportive community of like-minded professionals, you'll learn the strategies and tactics you need to achieve your most ambitious goals. Whether you're looking to increase revenue, build your team, or launch a new product or service, the Growth Strategies Coaching and Mastermind program can help you get there. Ready to take your business or career to the next level? Sign up for the Growth Strategies Coaching and Mastermind program today at productivityintelligenceinstitute.com forward slash mastermind. Welcome back. One example of someone who turned a setback into opportunities is J.K. Rawlings, the author of the Harry Potter series. Before she achieved literary success, Rawlings faced numerous setbacks and rejections, but she refused to give up and continued to work on her craft, eventually achieving unparalleled success. One process step to coping with failure and turning setbacks into opportunities is to evaluate what went wrong and identify what you can learn from the experience by asking yourself, what can we do differently in the future? We can turn setbacks into opportunities for growth. Coping with failure and turning setbacks into opportunities is essential for success. By adopting a growth mindset and learning from our failures and staying focused on our goals, we can unlock our full potential and achieve greater success than we ever thought possible. 
practical tips, advice, and strategies on how to optimize your time and to be more productive, embracing failure as an opportunity for growth, reframe setbacks as a detour on your journey towards success, identify what went wrong and what you can learn from the experience, evaluate your progress and adjust your strategies as needed, seek out the support of colleagues and mentors, stay focused on your goals and keep a growth mindset. What practical tips have you found helpful for coping with failure and turning setbacks into opportunities today? We'd love to hear your thoughts on this topic. Please leave us a comment or send us a message on our website. We value your feedback and engagement. Thank you for listening to this podcast on coping with failure and turning setbacks into opportunities. We hope you found it helpful and informative. Please join us on our next time for more insights and strategies to help you achieve your goals and optimize your time. If you're enjoying the content and finding it valuable, we would appreciate it if you could take a moment and leave us a review. Your feedback is important to us and helps us reach a wider audience. If you leave us a five-star review, it would mean the world to us. Not only does it help us improve the podcast, but it also helps us attract more sponsors and grow our community. Thank you again for your support and for listening to the Productivity Smarts Podcast. Thank you for tuning in to Productivity Smarts, where we help you achieve your goals and live your best life. We hope you've gained valuable insights and actionable strategies to boost your productivity and increase your happiness and fulfillment. Remember to apply what you've learned and keep striving towards your goals. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our podcast for more inspiring episodes and expert advice from our host, Gerald J. Leonard. Until next time, keep pushing forward and unleashing your productivity smarts.